Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim, he is AC, this is the Cash Kelly NAC Sports Report. And I know we haven't co covered college basketball a lot this season, but we've caught the fever, it is March Madness. Here are our predictions. Basically what we're going to do is there's four sections of the bracket, and for the first round, we're going to pick probably the section or the game. We're each going to pick a game in the section that we find the most interesting, and we're going to give you our predictions. So... Let's start in the East section, AC, what game interests you the most? Well, I got a game that interests me a lot right here. It's uh, going to be, not just because I'm a Nova fan, but Villanova and George Mason. Uh, it's the 9 seed, which being Villanova versus the 8 seed, George Mason. Uh, like you said today in English class, uh, I've heard a lot about this George Mason team, and a lot of people say they could actually make a run. Now, uh, whoever wins this game is going to run into a wall with Ohio State. Uh in the third round, but I, I think this could be possibly a very close game, possibly even an overtime game. Uh, we, we've seen no, what Nova can do. We've seen what Nova can't do this season. A uh, very inconsistent team. Um, I, I, I don't really follow George Mason. I, you know, they're, they're kind of not a large school. Yeah, not, not too many people are these days. Yeah, true, true. But uh, this is definitely my game of interest in the East Division. And who wh wh who do you think is going to win that one? I got Nova winning that one um, by a close margin. Okay, I, I got George Mason in a close one. I mean, I've heard that team is absolutely tremendous this season. I've not caught much of that, but, uh, you know, in this section of the bracket, none of the games particularly besides that one interest me too much. I'm going to say Ohio State because, uh, you know, we've seen this team uh, with Sollinger and Threebler and everyone that they're so great. I, I want to see them do it. I want to see them come out in this first round and win. So that's probably the game that interests me the most. Heading down to the western side of the bracket, what game interests you most? And what do you have as a score? I'm looking at the uh, what is it, uh, Arizona-Memphis game. Um, I, I've followed Arizona fairly uh, fairly well this, this season. They're, they're a strong team. Um, they, they can definitely win win some big games, but uh, Memphis could has the chance to be to be a spoiler um, for some teams, and I think they, they they definitely could be. But Arizona and Memphis should be probably the biggest game of interest for me in the West. And I got Arizona winning that. Okay, I got Memphis winning that. We actually did not even talk about this bracket too much beforehand. I had no idea AC was picking that because Memphis, is, I actually have upsetting them. You know, they talk about these 12-5 upsets. That's the one I have. I think Memphis uh, looks like a team that could be a Cinderella. You know, Calipari dumped them a year ago. You know, that team was down in the dump, dumps for a season. They're back this season. They look pretty good to me. Um... The game I'm interested in most is Temple and Penn State. I mean, obviously, some of these are local games. But, I mean, Penn State's a team that's probably has the best team in the history of that school basketball-wise this season. And uh, Temple's a team that, once again, they're seven seed, which is around where they are every year. Uh, under Fran Dunphy, they've never won a single game in this tournament. Uh, they lost in the A-10 tournament yesterday. So, I mean, we'll see. I got Penn State in this one. I mean, they crushed Michigan State the other day. I know they got crushed by Ohio State, and I'm not saying they're going to the Final Four, but I think they can make a round or two run in this, and I got Penn State. Another interesting game in this division would be uh, Cincinnati, Missouri. Definitely going to tune into that one. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be tuning into all these, covering all these games, or a, a fair amount of them, I should say, well, not all of them. Heading up to the southwest part of the bracket, who do you have? I think I, I've watched Illinois um, a good amount this season, and they could surprise some people. So I definitely I'm going with uh, Illinois in this game. Yeah, uh, I actually have Illinois in that game. I mean, eight and nine seed. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, the game I'm looking at would be Louisville and Moorhead State. Uh, Louisville's looked pretty solid this season. I mean, I, I, I honestly am not going to sit here and pretend like I know players on all these teams because I don't. But I know the teams, and I know Louisville's had a pretty nice season this year. Say what you want about Rick Pitino off the court, but he's a very good basketball coach. And I got Louisville winning that game, and, you know, they look pretty good to me in this part of the bracket. 
Uh, southeast part of the bracket. Who do you? Wh what game interests you the most? Southeast part of the bracket. Um, this is a tough one, but I think the game that interests me the most is St. John's and Gonzaga. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, St. St. John's is uh, very, in my opinion, very underrated. They can. I, I know they. I know they were ranked towards the end of the season, but in my opinion, they should have been ranked all season. They. They are a really, really good team for how much people overlook them. And I got them as my, I guess you could say, that, that Cinderella team. Uh, you'll see that when we release more of our videos for our brackets. Um, but Gonzaga's always always been strong. They, they were strong a couple of years ago in, in this tournament. Um, but I got St. John's winning this thing. I just think they're, they're, they're too good for Gonzaga to be a spoiler. Yeah, no, I mean, that's a game I originally looked at and said, you know, is a big school, big basketball school, I should say. They're a good team. Uh, we're actually going to just release them all in this video for our picks. But, I mean, I think BYU, uh, Wolford, I mean, I don't know how to say half these schools, is a game of interest. But Butler Old Dominion is the one that interests me the most. Not because I think Old Dominion's going to win. But, I mean, Butler, obviously, last year was a half-court shot away from winning the national title. And a lot of people are saying, you know, they don't quite have it this year, but that experience, once they, once they get to the tournament, will turn on and kick in, and they're going to win. I don't know. You know, I want to see what this team has. I haven't seen many of their games this year. I've seen a few, and they've looked pretty solid. But I want to see if they are a Final Four contender again. Yeah, don't count out Butler. They, they can surprise people. Uh, I think the only problem this year is they're going to run into Pitt uh, in their second game, so... Okay, so heading into the round of 32. For this one, I, I just want you... We'll, we'll pick one game in each section, and we'll kind of preview through it. For me, starting in the East section, the game that interests me the most is probably Marquette and Syracuse, because I have Marquette upsetting Syracuse. Or uh, Xavier, rather. Uh, I think Syracuse has been overlooked in a crowded Big East, like many teams are. And I, I want to see if they can get the job done in this tournament, and I want to see a lot out of them. And I think Marquette, I think they're going to beat Xavier. I don't know why I think they're going to beat Xavier. So, AC, in the West, in the round of 32, who do you? what, what game interests you the most that you have scheduled? In the West Division, I got uh, Georgetown-Purdue, because uh, Purdue's number three and Georgetown's number six, I believe. Yeah, that's correct. And um, I got Georgetown upsetting Purdue in that game, because I think... Georgetown, if, if you watched them all season, because I've watched them all season because they're in the Big East, but they could definitely make a, a, a run. They're, they're an underranked uh, six seed. They're definitely a little bit overlooked as far as rankings because, for one, they play in the Big East, so there's a lot of good schools in that division. But I, I definitely think that Georgetown's going to win that game. All right, that, that's actually the Southwest division, but yeah, yeah. No, no, that's fine. Um, in the Western Division, the game interesting to me the most, which I have another upset in, is Memphis and Texas. Actually, there's two games in this that I'll pick from. Memphis and Texas, again, I seen Mem I saw Memphis yesterday, and they looked pretty solid to me. I actually have Memphis winning, advancing to the Sweet 16. Uh, UConn, Penn State interests me. Or Sorry, not UConn, Penn State. Uh, Penn State and San Diego State interest me, because San Diego State's kind of been there with BYU as a small school. Uh, they have that guy who was with Michigan as a coach before. I want to see what they can do here. Um, and in the southeast portion of this, uh, the section of 32, I actually have a uh, UCLA and Florida, or no, no, let me say, BYU and St. John's. That one interests me the most. Uh, St. John's, obviously, like you said, has been pretty good this year. Uh, BYU, their, their lack of height, kind of, or they don't have a necessary lack of height, but they're not where they were with Davies, obviously, getting kicked off. The lacking a big man in the middle. Yeah, and, um, you know, you, you got to see what Jimma can do for them. If, if he can carry them the whole way, we'll see. Um, let's head to the Sweet 16 now. Uh, in the Eastern Division of this, give me both of your matchups and give me a winner. You don't really need to go through an explanation. Just give me the winner. Virginia, and in the 
Carolina. Yeah, I actually have both those matchups as well. Mm. Wow, that's interesting. So who's your winners? Uh, Ohio State in the top one and Syracuse in the bottom one. I have, I have North Carolina in the bottom one, but I could certainly see Syracuse winning. D down to the western section, my matchups are Duke and Memphis and UConn and San Diego State. I got Duke winning the top game and UConn winning the bottom game. Who you got? I got the same winners, but I also have I have Arizona instead of Memphis. Uh, Duke, Duke Arizona and Duke winning that game, and UConn San Diego State and UConn winning the bottom game. All right, heading up to the southwest part of this, I got Kansas and Louisville, and Purdue and Notre Dame. Here's my big upset: I got Louisville beating Kansas. Um. Again, I, I've watched them a few times this season. I've really been impressed. And uh, down Notre Dame, Hansborough's been carrying them this entire season. I got Notre Dame beating Purdue. Um, uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. I got Kansas and Vanderbilt uh, with Vanderbilt and upsetting Louisville. And Georgetown, Notre Dame in the bottom game. And I got Kansas and Notre Dame winning those games. All right, uh, down to the southeast part, I got Pittsburgh and Wisconsin, and the game I am circling like crazy, and I was trying to think of who could possibly win this game, BYU and Florida. This is interesting to me because Florida is a number two seed, BYU is a number three. Everyone's saying, well, BYU is going to be this Cinderella team. <laughs> they're not really flying under the radar, so they're not going to be a Cinderella team even if they do win. Uh I picked Florida for that one because I think Chandler Parsons doesn't have quite as much credit as he deserves. He's one of the better players in the country, um, and I think Florida doesn't have this big spotlight over them. If they lose, everyone will say, well, I said that BYU was going to upset them. Um, and I got Pitt beating Wisconsin in a real close one. All right. And in the bottom one, I got St. John's and Florida. Oh, so you actually have St. John's beating BYU. Yes, I have St. John's beating BYU. All right. So, it's a little bit of a difference with that. And I actually even have St. John's beating Florida. Um, I, I have a lot of confidence in this team. I think I think they could uh, definitely make a run, like I said before. And who do you have in your top game? Yeah. Yeah, 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 who wins, I mean. Pittsburgh. Okay. Uh, final four for me. Oh, no, sorry, we skipped the Elite Eight. Uh, Ohio State and North Carolina. I got Ohio State advancing to the final four. That team looks too deep for me for too many teams to even mess with. Duke. Ohio, Ohio State's too good. Duke and UConn, and this might be because of my hatred of Duke. But I got Kemba Walker upsetting them. Someone's going to have to step up for UConn, but I could certainly see it happening. Kemba, geez. Kemba Walker is an absolute monster. I got UConn advancing. And up to the southwest section, I got Louisville and Notre Dame. Got Louisville advancing. They are my sleeper in this whole tournament. Bottom part, Pitt and Florida. Like you said to me this morning, even if Pitt and BYU play, or uh. BYU and Florida play. It doesn't matter because they're e either side is going to lose to Pitt. What's your elite eight picks? I got the same thing up top, uh, except Ohio State and Syracuse, and I got Ohio State advancing. Kind of self-explanatory there. Uh, bottom one, I have Duke and UConn, just like you. Maybe this is because of my hatred for Duke, but uh, I definitely UConn. Th 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 they're s they're really good. I think. And I don't want to have to hear Dick Vitale saying Dookie's bait or whatever the hell that guy says. He's annoying as hell to begin with, let alone add Duke in there and he's even worse. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, top one, I got Kansas and Notre Dame. And I think this could go to like at least two or three overtimes. But I have Notre Dame pulling it out actually. Ben Hansborough repping for the Notre Dame. Hate Notre and, Dame, too. <laughs> and then in the bottom southeast division, I got Pittsburgh and St. John's. 
Uh, I like St. John's. I like their chances, but Pittsburgh's too good. I got Pitt winning that game and advancing to the final. final okay, so the, we'll go to the left side and the right side now for the final four. We don't even have to say east, southeast, northwest, north, south, whatever. Um, I got Ohio State playing UConn. I got Ohio State winning. Uh, Campbell Walker's only going to carry you so far. This UConn team shoots so well. I got them winning this game. And then you got Louisville and Pitt. I got Pitt winning. Uh, I know I picked Louisville far in this tournament, but Pitt's just a better team here. I got Ohio State and UConn as well. Um, I got UConn winning that game in a, in a close one. They got to pull that one out because of the depth of Ohio State and just the overall talent at that school. It's incredible, but I think I think UConn can pull it out. And then I got Notre Dame and Pitt, and I think Pitt's going to win that game uh, fairly easily, I think. Okay, so my final is Ohio State and Pitt. Yours would be Pitt and UConn. I'm going to take a wild guess that you're going with Pitt in the final. And you would be wrong. Oh. Actually. So you're taking Kemba Walker, the Kemba Nation, to carry... UConn all the way from a number three seed where they barely got in to winning the whole thing. Okay, um, I I'm going to take Ohio State. I think there's no Cinderellas 90% of the time, and even if there is, they don't usually win the whole thing. Ohio State's deep. They can shoot the ball. They can dribble. They can play defense. I got Ohio State winning. I mean, the bottom line, this is going to be a real fun month for us. Um. We missed out on this somewhat in the World Cup last year where we didn't cover individual games. The difference here is I can actually sit down and watch a basketball game. So we're going to cover probably, um, if there's seven games or so for each section, we'll try and cover two. Um, that might be a stretch with school, but hey, I'll, do, I'll just fail. I mean, I, I, once, it gets, once it gets down to the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight, you'll see some videos start cranking out. Yeah, and well, I mean, I, I'll just fail school, which I'm pretty much already doing anyway. So, th there's no worries there. We'll be here to cover. This is way more important. I, I understand that. Hopefully, my parents aren't watching this video because I'll probably have this show canceled if they hear me say that. I'm Tim Eze, AC. This is the Cash County AC Sports Report. March Madness predictions. Leave yours. We'll see you later.